Hello, aviation enthusiasts. Citrus Aviation here with this week's aviation news this week, and. This video is going to be pre-recorded, and I'll explain that at the end of the video, so if you want to stay tuned, uh, I'm doing something on the day this video is going live, and so stay till the end of the video for that information. And this week's shout-out goes to Aviation2003. He did not ask for a shout-out or anything, but I just wanted to give him a shout-out. Please get him to 100 subscribers and beyond. Uh, he's got a fantastic Philadelphia model airport, and some great models and good videos, so go check him out and subscribe. The highlight aviation news for this week, in my opinion, is that Rolly Dome will be having some big tonal move news. So you can see this is the audio terminal layout on Google Maps. You can see Terminal 2 over here. You can see like the runway and all that sort of stuff over here. Uh, this is runway uh, 5 left, 2, 3 right, and 5 right, 2, 3 left over here. And then over here at Tunnel 1, this is where the important news is happening. And that is that we're going to have some airlines moving over here. Currently, you can see uh, they've been renovating this. So they've opened this in 2015 for the new renovation. And so we have gates 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now, when I flew through here in 2011, these gates were open as well. So this is the old terminal you can see here. It's kind of a bluish terminal. This is this was a US Airways section in here. And then Air Trans also down here. And then these section gates 26 to 30 were Southwest Airlines. You can see the blue area. You can see these rusted out gates. Uh, they have finally torn this whole section down. So this will be rebuilt. And the big news is that on the 1st of April 2020, Spirit Airlines, Frontier Airlines, and Allegiant Airlines will be joining Southwest over here at the new Terminal 1. Uh, Southwest currently occupies gates 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So these five gates here. And uh, Frontier and Allegiant will be joining them. They'll probably begin the new renovated area here. And this portion down here, these four gates. Um, so that's big headline news, at least in my opinion. So that also means that the main Terminal 2 will just be more upscale airlines as Terminal 2 is a very, very nice upscale terminal. If you've ever had the chance to fly through there, you'll know exactly what I mean by. So that's the exciting headline news, at least in my opinion. And also, if you want evidence for this, I also have a screenshot that I'm showing now to show you that this is actually happening, confirmed from Rolly Jones' official Instagram page. Alright, so... We are now moving on to fleet news. Uh, I'm trying to get this episode in. It's going to be a little bit shorter one because I have a lot that I need to do with Carly Star and that sort of thing. So Bamboo Airways is celebrating their one millionth passenger. And this um, aircraft is registered as Victor November that's Alpha 590. Uh, photo was taken on the 17th of August 2019 as 8221-251 Neo. And Bamboo Airways is one of the quickly emerging Vietnam Airlines. Seems like Vietnam is growing economically. Who would have guessed? You know, if you give freedoms to your peoples, they will actually do things with that. <laughs> Next, the Dream Takes Flight livery 787-9. This one looks so awesome. Currently, uh, it is an untitled aircraft. I don't know which airline it's going to be, but currently it wears the touch test registration of November 1015 Bravo and this aircraft was seen on the 17th of August 2019. I'm not exactly sure what airlines it's going to be but it looks awesome. If this is a Boeing aircraft it's probably one of the best looking Boeing liveries I've ever seen. Alright next we have the Fly Jan 1 Airways 737-800 is a new startup airline for South Korea. You can see it currently wears the registration of Lima November Das November Golf Golf. Obviously, that is not a Korean registration. So they do Hotel Lima and then four numbers. But uh, yeah, I like this livery. It looks really cool. Kind of looks almost like the US Air Force color scheme. 
And the final fleet news is that Kuwait Airlines will begin their first AT20 deal, which start as 9 Kilo dash Alpha Kilo Lima. It is an A320-251 N and this was spot on the 20th of August. And then finally, we're gonna finish today with some route news. So first off, we'll be starting with the American 7800, which will be flying from New York LaGuardia to Bermuda. That'll be once weekly, only on Saturdays, starting December 21st, 2019. Then Sun Country will be starting 7800 South from Las Vegas to Salt Lake City, seasonal to weekly, starting September 5th, 2019, as they are very much expanding out of Las Vegas. Next, we have the American CRJ 200, which will be flying f once daily, starting September the 26th, 2019. This aircraft will be flying from DFW to St. George's Regional Airport in Washington County, Utah. I didn't even know that airport existed before I, today. But yeah, next, the American CRJ 200 will also be starting a new once daily route, September the 5th, 2019. And this flight will be going from Chicago O'Hare to Yigo Airport in Kawaha County, West Virginia. Again, another place I didn't really know of before. Uh, next, the Delta A220 will be starting service from Seattle to Sacramento. That'll be twice daily. Starting April 1st, 2020. And uh, that is it for the routes. I hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of the normal episode of Aviation News this week. Uh, at the time that this video is uploaded and tomorrow's video is uploaded, I will be at the Central Iowa Air Show in Ankeny, Iowa. So I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, I have a lot of great footage that I should be getting from the Air Show three-day event. I hope to go all three days. So stay tuned to my Instagram if you want to see what's happening there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And also, as you might have seen in my latest video, I was able to start doing an intro. Um, so, I mean, an outro. So I have an outro now for the channel. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you want, I can show you guys in next week's ABC News Week how to put your own outro in. It's pretty simple. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week.